Hi, I'm Eric from the zoo. <laughs> uh, Fred mentioned that uh, he was confident, but I'm feeling a little nervous uh, myself about this. This is a big goal. Uh, I was just in the room uh, that we had our refreshments in yesterday getting a shot. I was nervous then. It made me feel weird, um, you know, for the flu shot. Uh, and it made me think about the last time I got a shot um, was when I was getting a health checkup. You know, they measure you as an individual. You go in and get your annual physical, and you get a shot. It's amazing all the metrics they can get from a, a single blood draw, right? You can get hundreds of different metrics, uh, getting a sense of your health. Um, and what they found, uh, for me, uh, I'm pretty healthy. And uh, none of the metrics were the things that I'm concerned about or my wife. I'm concerned about the, uh, the configuration, composition, color, uh, density and placement of my hair, uh, frankly, and that's not ever something that they ever study. My value system and the metrics that the doctor provides me are, are different. Um, they told me to eat less cheese and I just needed a new doctor. Um, that's just not, that's a non-starter. Um, but I want you to imagine uh, that I were Minnesota and I were coming into the doctor's office and this is what I looked like and you're the doctors, what are your metrics? What are you going to tell me? How does that interact with, with my value system? We can see here the, the yellows and greens in the south represent the crops. The darker kind of pale greens and blues in the, in the northeast are the forests and lakes. Are the, is that appropriate? Is that where we want them to be? We have the big blotchy red of our urban areas. What are the goals and metrics? What would you be looking at? For Jessica, it would be a little butterfly, right? And uh, for me, it would be... Uh, a bumblebee. Okay, what would, what would you say, you know, what are all the appropriate metrics that you would be measuring? What would you tell, tell Minnesotans? Um, we have a, how many golf courses? We have a Les Bolstead course, you know, what's appropriate? That sort of thing. And then imagine that you're providing that information to a diverse group, not only of stakeholders, um, but decision makers as well. They're both one and the same. It's hard enough to judge to how to be a sustainable person. Right? I make choices that are probably amazing in the short term, but not great in the long term, like the breakfast sandwich that I had, the fried chicken sandwich I ate at Surly last night, and I ate both parts of the bun. <laughs> you don't do that in your 40s, I'm told. Um, anyway, it's a diverse and complicated uh, system to work on, and we need a collective group and you know, people with experience working with all these different agencies. Sometimes it takes a values-driven statement. It's not just you know, ecological research that needed. We need to understand our value systems. And so um, who's going to do that? You are, right? This is one of the things that we said we can do as a collective action. And so we need to start defining what it is those metrics are, how we're going to engage as a community, as stakeholders, frankly, in this, in this journey. Um, this is a preview of a, a, a WebEx call from hell that we'll have in the future. <laughs> this is what it will look like. Or Zoom, whatever the university decides. Um, so I look forward to starting to define uh, the metrics and goals uh, and starting to figure out how we're going to engage with the, the community uh, together. So thank you.